to my channel if you're new here I'm Katie um, today I am sitting in the grocery store parking lot because I am gonna do a grocery store shop with me and meal prep type video I don't really know what I'm gonna call it yet but something along those lines um, I got little miss with me I'm gonna try and film in the store and grocery shop if not then it's just gonna be a meal prep but we'll see if they stop me or anything okay Paige really wanted a balloon so she got that careful don't break it oh you already did okay well saw that coming I just barely made it through the produce section and got a ton of produce. So, that was the main part of my grocery list was from the vegetables and fruits and stuff. Alright, I got all the loaded, or all the groceries loaded in the back of the car. Paige's watching TV, she was so good. But we're gonna head home and I'll unload and show you guys everything. Paige is just over here dancing with her baby. Are you dancing? You're cute. Okay, we made it home and I put the groceries out on the counter so I could show y'all what I got. I got these lemons because I was going to try and make some fresh, like, homemade lemonade. I got some almond milk for smoothies and other, I don't know, like I use it in cereal. I use it for a lot of stuff. This is the milk that I get for Paige. It's, I can't, it's just a Horizon whole milk. I got some orange juice because I'm going to marinate the carne asada that we're having for dinner in that. And then I also got these LaCroix. So I love LaCroix, but I've never tried the apricot. So I got it because I wanted to try. We got some cuties, apples, limes, um, cherry tomatoes to go in the salad that I'm going to make. Tortillas for the carne asada tacos tonight. This bonza pasta to go in the pasta salad that I'm going to make. Uh, these Annie's fruit snacks. I give these to Paige every once in a while for like a little treat. I got a Caesar salad kit. I love the like pre-made kits. It's so simple. And then spinach for smoothies or whatever I want. I got some bell peppers, shredded carrots. I'm gonna put, so bell peppers I like to chop and put in my eggs in the morning. Um, but I also got it for the salad that I'm gonna do. Shredded carrots are for the pasta salad. This English cucumbers for the pasta salad. Cilantro for the tacos tonight. These are just normal, regular cucumbers for the beef Korean barbecue bowls that I'm gonna make for Garrett. I got some applesauce, cause I'm gonna use this in some muffins that I'm making. Zucchini, I also add zucchini to my eggs. Or my smoothie. Zucchini is one of those like vegetables that is flavorless. It kinda just takes to whatever you mix it with. So, I like it for that reason. Bananas, some salsa. Some avocados. I'm gonna make guacamole for tonight. Sour cream for tonight. The diced red onion is for the pasta salad that I'm gonna make. The pico is for the tacos tonight. I like the pre-cut. It just makes it simpler for me, or more simple for me. I got these. Per okay, I love these perfect bars. These are in the refrigerated section, and I know they sell these at Costco and Walmart, and then like they have them at one of the grocery stores in town the other one doesn't have them but i keep these in the fridge they're just like a good little high protein snack for me and i think they taste so good i got some fresh mozzarella pearls for the pasta salad the chobani greek yogurts Paige loves these i like these a lot too i'll like if i'm eating it i'll mix in granola if she's eating it i'll sometimes mix in frozen fruit or we'll just eat it as is the stir you guys know that Paige loves this stuff um, the ingredients are super clean, no added sugar, so I'll mix that with her water every once in a while. I got a plain Greek yogurt also for the muffins that I'm going to make. And then I get Paige these little pouches. She loves pouches. So these ones are just the yogurt ones. They have protein, calcium, and live active culture. So there's like a, some health benefits to that. So I got two boxes of those as well. Then we also got a watermelon that I'm going to chop up for a snack so that's our little grocery haul and I'm gonna show you guys so I'm gonna show you guys how I prep all of this food what I make with it the snacks that we get like stuff like that so stay tuned for that life is a winding road no telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling 
down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down The sky is falling down Even if the sky is falling down dinner for tonight I prepped some food like I chopped up vegetables and stuff washed all of that so we had dinner it was good did you like it baby yes he liked it too um, Paige just had a cheese quesadilla with watermelon and we had the tacos um, but I'm gonna cl finish cleaning up the kitchen and I will pick this up tomorrow we just had a little dance party in the kitchen Paige was loving it um, but I'll pick this up tomorrow and show you guys like the pasta recipe that I was talking about and the muffins Good morning y'all. It is currently the next morning, obviously um, And I am prepping the pasta salad that I was telling you guys about I love to prep like a big batch of this and eat it for lunches throughout the week It's just something quick healthy that I can grab so the ingredients for this Is bonza pasta this is a chickpea pasta. I choose to use this pasta because it has higher protein. So there's 22 grams of protein and eight grams of fiber, which is super good for pasta. Um, cherry tomatoes, I'm gonna cut these in half. I already have, I bought this pre-diced, so this is some red onion. Uh, optional, you guys don't have to add dairy if you like don't do dairy, but I love cheese. So I'm doing fresh mozzarella pearls. And then bell pepper, you guys saw me, um, prep this yesterday I also use this for like eggs and stuff in the morning but I'm gonna take some of this and throw it in there and then I have some sliced olives as well and then I'm just gonna use balsamic balsamic vinegar as a dressing you guys can add whatever dressing you want though I will also sometimes just do like some apple cider vinegar and oil with spices 
And another good one that I'm not seeing in my fridge right now. I don't see it in my fridge right now, but the fat-free Italian dressing, I might have some in the pantry. Yes, I do. So, the zesty Italian um, fat-free dressing, 15 calories per serving. So, lower calorie, which is good if you're trying to lose weight. Anyways, I got my water boiling. I'm about to pour my pasta in there, and then I'm going to chop up my tomatoes and get everything prepped. I forgot I also do an English cucumber in this too, so I'm gonna cut that as well. Be thinking about myself and myself only. I've been like that since I was a kid. I've always put my feet wherever I want to Before I saw who I could be Kept thinking, where did I go wrong? Then realizing where I do come from Was asking how real love should feel Knowing Okay, I'm gonna make some breakfast and I'm gonna show you guys what I like prepped all the cut veggies for Like how I make it Throw some of this hot sauce on there. It's really good. Saute the veggies and then throw the eggs on top, cook the eggs, and then throw a little bit of cheese, which is optional, and then hot sauce. And that's my breakfast. Okay, next I'm gonna make this curry and barbecue dish. I don't really know what to call it. I'm making this for Garrett. So for the main ingredients, you're gonna need jasmine rice, rice vinegar, this Korean barbecue sauce, um, cucumbers shredded carrots, ground beef, and then for the dressing you're gonna need sriracha and sour cream, but we'll make that after. Let's show you guys how I make this. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is put this to medium heat, and then I'm just gonna spray a little bit of olive oil. You guys can like use that and just pour some as well, but, and then I'm just gonna use this entire bag of carrots. I'm making a lot for, for Garrett. This is what he's gonna take for work, so. I'm gonna throw those in there and then I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and saute them. Okay, so once they're softened, you're just gonna transfer them to a plate and set them to the side. In that same exact pot that you cooked the carrots in, you're gonna do a drizzle of olive oil. Wait for that to heat up. So this recipe calls for green onions. A lot of times I don't have green onions, so I'll completely skip this step. However, I do have some leftover onion from this pasta salad, so I'm gonna add this in there and let those soften. Next, I'm gonna add my beef to that, so I'm gonna cut these open and add that in there. Once that's added, I'm just gonna season it with some garlic powder and salt and pepper. Okay, well that's cooking. I am going to, I shredded my cucumber and I just added it to this bowl, and then I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this rice vinegar over top of it. Probably like that much. And then I'm just gonna make sure I mix it well and let it sit there while that's cooking. I'm also gonna get my rice started, so I don't know how much I have, so I'm gonna measure it out and put it in this bowl and then I'll start the water. I'm literally just using the minute jasmine rice. You guys can use whatever rice you like. I just like this one because it's quick. Okay, I'm doing five cups of rice because my husband's working five nights. 
Um, so I just did five cups of water in there and then I also added some butter. I feel like the butter gives it like the best flavor. <laughs> just a little extra yumminess. So once that comes to a boil, I'll pour the rice in, put the lid on and turn the heat off. That's why I love minute rice, it's so simple. Okay, the meat is brown, so now I'm gonna stir in some sesame seeds. Once again, this is optional. If you guys don't have any, you could skip this step, but I add this into the beef, and then I also add this as a topping, so. Also gonna throw in a dash of rice vinegar. This just gives it a little extra flavor. I don't measure anything, so I apologize, but just like, you know, a little dash. And then mix it all up. I'm gonna let that sit for a couple minutes and then I'm gonna add in this Korean barbecue sauce. Um, once again, I don't measure, I just throw in like maybe like a fourth a cup, I don't know. I just add it until it looks like it's covered in sauce. <laughs> Okay, that was definitely more than a fourth a cup. I would say like half. I use like half of this almost. So I don't know. For two pounds of ground beef, I used about half of a jar of this specific sauce. You guys can go to your grocery store and find any Korean barbecue marinade sauce. Like any kind of barbecue Korean sauce would work. Okay, the last thing I need to do is make the sauce, which is just a mixture of sour cream, sriracha, and water. There's a little bit of water in the bottom of that bowl. So. First you add a little bit of water, and then you're just gonna kind of make it as thick or as thin as you'd like. Okay, so that's about the color and consistency I like. It's kind of like runny, like, but not super thick. It's one of those things that you just eyeball. So like if it's too thin, you can add more sour cream. If it's too thick, add a little more water. Taste test it. Like if you want more spice, add extra sriracha. If it's too spicy, add more sour cream, you know. Just kind of play with it until you have it the way you like. So now that everything is prepped, we or now that everything is made, we're gonna start making the containers so i have everything laid out right here we're going to start with the base of rice and then do the beef and then add this um, carrots and cucumber and then top it with that sauce also wanted to throw in that the sauce if you are like if you want to put that in a separate container so that you could heat up your container and then add the sauce after you can do that my husband just likes the sauce thrown on top and he just heats it all together and then mixes it he doesn't care so up to you I just topped them off with some more sesame seeds and they are all done. I love this meal because it's super simple and it's super flavorful so my husband enjoys it. He doesn't like blander foods, foods that have like less, like he loves anything that's covered with cheese or sauce. So this one's semi-healthy and filling. I also wanted to mention that these containers are huge but that's because this is all he eats. Like this is his main meal so he eats this for lunch and for dinner. And then he'll pack other extra snacks like he'll pack like bananas chips you know like other side things next up i'm gonna make the blueberry muffins this is like a healthier version of blueberry muffins um the first ingredient was two cups of oat flour so i literally just blended up two cups of oats and dumped it in there okay next we need two teaspoons of baking powder 
And then it says half a teaspoon of salt, so I'm just gonna crack in a little bit. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. It says that cinnamon is optional, but we like cinnamon, so I'm gonna sprinkle in a little bit of that. And then I'm just gonna kind of sift all of this together so that it's mixed. Okay, I'm gonna pour all the dry ingredients gonna pour them into this bowl and I'll mix the wet ingredients in the mixer. Okay so the first ingredient is applesauce. The first wet ingredient is applesauce so I'm gonna do the no sugar added applesauce. I need a third cup. I'm thinking not one of these is gonna be a third cup but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it's a little over a third cup, but I think it'll be fine. So, third cup of applesauce. Next it says two third cups of Greek yogurt, so I'm just gonna use the plain Chobani Greek yogurt. There's one third. And I will link all of these recipes. So like this specific one I got off of Pinterest, so I will leave the link for it below. Okay, next I'm gonna do a third cup of honey. So I just sprayed the inside of my measuring spoon with um, cooking spray. That way it will come out easily. Okay, so third cup of honey. And then I'm also gonna do a third cup of agave. If you don't have agave, then you could just do two thirds cup of honey. If you don't have honey, then you can just do two third cup of agave. So just whatever you like. I love agave, so that's why I'm doing it this way. So we got our honey, we got our agave. And then the last wet ingredient is two eggs. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all of that together with the mixer and then I'm gonna slowly add in my dry ingredients. Okay, I have my muffin tin ready. I'm just gonna spray with cooking spray instead of doing liners just because I think that's easier. Also, the oven is currently preheating to 400 degrees and you cook it for about 15 to 17 minutes, I think is what it said. I'll have to double check, but. Okay, the last step is to fold in your blueberries. I'm just using frozen blueberries. You can also use fresh, but I'm just gonna dump a little bit in there and then fold it all up. There's the finished product. They smell amazing. Okay, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And I did want to say, we don't, we try to eat like healthy in this house. However, we're not on any restrictive diet. We don't have any like gluten or dairy intolerances. Like we have no restrictions. So I kind of just try like to make sure that we eat vegetables with our meals, to make sure that we're getting protein, fat, like um, carbs, like healthy protein, fat, and carbs, I guess I should say. So anyways, I just wanted to also throw that in here. Um, if you guys try any of these recipes, tag me on Instagram. My Instagram's Katie 
um, Powell underscore eight. I'll leave it in the link below. And like I said, I will leave all the recipes in the link below as well. I do follow recipes kind of, so I usually like look at recipes and kind of go off of them, but I never follow them to a T. I don't think I've ever been able to do that. I'll kind of like substitute things I have, things I don't have, things I like, stuff like that. So anyways, like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.